recording. Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I want to do just a little quick Bible teaching. I want to show you something that Father revealed to someone, I don't remember, was it over a week ago I heard about it? One of these words in Lord's Prayer really means might have been a couple weeks ago or more. I, it doesn't matter. The Lord brought it to my remembrance as I was praying this morning. And I pulled it up and I'm going to share it with you. When you pray the Lord's Prayer, I bet you didn't even realize you were saying these things. All right. Now let's, go, let's look at it together, okay? It's in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 is where it starts. Where Jesus is talking. And he's just instructing them on how to pray. He says, pray then in this way. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. This is kind of an outline. We, you can pray the prayer word for word, or you can use it as an outline. He's telling you to praise Father. Recognize he is holy and he is in heaven our holy father who is in heaven hallowed be your name let he says your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven i always say let your kingdom come your will be done but you can you can add a few words. Take you know it, it's like I said. I don't think Jesus meant for us to we have to recite it word for word. It's sort of an outline. All right, we're asking that Father's will be done, not ours. We're praying for our provisions. Give us this day our daily bread, or our bread for tomorrow. You might be praying that at a night. And forgive us our debts. As we also have forgiven our debtors. That just doesn't mean our debts. That means our sins. Forgive us, Lord, of all of our sins. And we, as we also forgive those who have sinned against us. Let's check. Let me show you the King James Version. 6.12 And forgive. That also says debtors. Okay, I thought it said trespasses in King James. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of when I was Catholic. We said, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So I don't know what version that was. I was thinking it was King James. I guess it's the Catholic version. At any rate, look at this verse. This is the one I wanted to point out. Matthew 8, uh, 6, verse 13. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I want you to see this word temptation, what it means. Lead us not into temptation, it says. Is Father going to lead us into temptation? It might be more clearly stated and help us to not be led into temptation peri per let's see how they say it strong's g 3986 pyrosmos 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 all right let's click on that number the word temptation also is a word for It's used as temptation or temptations, but look what it means. An experiment. An attempt. A trial. Proving. Lead us away from the experiment they're trying to do on us, Lord. What experiment would that be? The one I can't talk about on YT. The ABJ, as some are calling it, is an experimental trial G 
Gene therapy. It's since conditioned serve as to test the love of the Galatians toward Paul. Let's read that again. Trial. Proving the trial made of you by my bodily condition, since condition served as to test the love of the Galatians toward Paul. What is it serving to test the love of Christians toward God? Now, B, the trial of man's fidelity. That's like a man being faithful to his wife. Are we being tested to be faithful to our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Integrity, virtue, constancy. Under B, you see it means an enticement to sin. A temptation. Is it not tempting? to take something you should not just to keep your worldly job so you have your worldly money to pay for your worldly possessions. Despite what God says or thinks about it. Do you see that? This little prayer that Jesus taught his apostles how to pray by saying this, he said. Say it this way. Do you think it was coincidence that he chose the word that in the Greek means an experiment? Th another thing I want to teach you along these lines has got to go up on BitChute. Or it'll probably get noticed and I'll, I'll get at least a strike if not losing my channel. Anyway, I wanted to show you that because I find it very, very, very interesting and important. Again, if you can share this with anybody, that it might help keep them from going down the wrong path, help them stay on the path of righteousness. Help them to understand what exactly does the Bible mean by this. And lead us not into temptation. <laughs>